Schools that acknowledge and appreciate the role of parents as the first and continuing educators of their children will recognise the benefits of proactive parental involvement. Research over the past 30 years by people such as J.L. Epstein has established unequivocally a direct correlation between parental involvement and increased student achievement. In partnership with the Geelong Region Local Learning and Employment Network, a group of schools in Geelong have set about developing their own student data tool, Real-Time Student, an enhancement of existing data systems that is live and web-based. This tool, which provides accurate data and feedback, will assist teachers and parents to support student progress. Certainly the parents are very impressed by it. We, when we do course counselling um, each year as the students choose the next step of their program, um, the parents sit with the student and the, the home group advisor in working out you know, what the most um, suitable subjects might be and the parents are very impressed to have all that information there in one place um, and really engage in the discussion because it's in front of them, um, it's real information ab about their son or daughter and um, yeah, they very, very much value that. Teacher-led discussions with parents and students help build the awareness of the range of pathways available to the student. In building ownership of individual student data with the young person and their parents, teachers can work with parents and their child to create pathways tailor-made to meet the strengths and the career aspirations of the young person. I guess having a screen with a lot of data on it um, centralised around my child was, was something that I thought um, was, was impressive. Um, it demonstrated that uh, the, the teacher and the, and the school has a good handle on, on what my child is, is doing, um, some of their results, um, their attendance and that type of thing um, was, was all readily available and, and visual on the screen um, with graphs and that type of thing. One of the things was that the strengths were identified um, and then from that the, the conversation tailed into um, more of a discussion about possible improvements and suggestions for, for looking at areas of concern. As a sub-school coordinator I have to deal with a very large number of students. There's approximately over 200 students in my sub-school. Um, so by having real-time student I'm able to just simply type in a surname and I have all the relevant data about that student at my fingertips. It certainly um, helps parents to, uh, yeah, to have a deeper understanding of where their uh, student is at um, because it means that in the short time that we are able to have them in the school and you've got to remember parents will probably only you know talk to you in the end for maybe half an hour or an hour or even two hours maximum over the course of a whole term so it's really important that we make the most of that time by uh, having all that data available and ready to go uh, when we have the parents in the school. Schools using real-time student have developed blended senior study programs so that students can construct a pathway that makes the most of the range of subjects and courses available, both from within the school and from its training partners. It's about knowing where your students are at and then it's about developing programs, pathways for them that leads them into areas outside of school. So it's identifying what their needs are and then trying to meet those needs through the curriculum programs that we're offering here in school. We identified that we needed something to meet the needs of our boys. We put a submission into the federal government under the Lighthouse Project uh, to support that program. Through the LEN, the, um, uh, there was an opportunity to join the EPIT, uh, as, it, as it's now called, and that allowed us to uh, develop our program, it provided us with the structural support for it to be ongoing. In, in terms of pathways out of school, I guess previously where we had students having some of the poor outcomes and not sustainable outcomes, um, the students have an understanding of their own learning and, and where they're at in terms of their own development and therefore have higher aspirations about what they want to do once they leave school. Increasingly, parents are finding themselves in a world where the way their children learn and the jobs they will work in require an ability to accommodate to the rapid pace of change and new technologies. Real-time student ensures that these choices are based on accurate data and regular discussion between informed teachers, students and their parents. <laughs>